Jasmine and today I have my full face of forgotten makeup. I have just been trying to use up a lot of different products and these ones just got pushed into the back of the drawer so I kind of just rekindled everything, regathered everything and I just made a full face for you guys. Um, this is a pretty dramatic look but I'm actually kind of living for it. So I hope you guys really enjoy this look and hopefully you guys start using your forgotten makeup. So let's get into this video. Okay, so let's start with primer. I had to dig this one out of my client kit, my freelance kit. This is the Benefit Professional, and I don't have a lot of it left. Um, I Again, I use it a lot on other people. It works really great. Um, I just personally just I don't know I just really love my touch and soul but for the longest time for about two years of my life benefit professional was my holy grail so hmm. let's just go into it shall we I really like this primer because I don't know if you guys have tried this Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer um, I bought that as kind of like a replacement to benefit this one it does not ball up on the skin. This one just smooths the skin really nicely. Hmm. Hmm. I forgot. <laughs> if you watch one of my videos called Full Face of Products I Don't Care About, I talked about this foundation, the Tarte Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation. I'm in the shade Medium Sand. I didn't like it because I just feel like I don't know, it's like a waste of space. You have to like dig your brush in it or whatever. And I don't know, it's just something that isn't my favorite. Plus the shade is just a little bit too dark. But today, I'm gonna try and make it work because I spent my money on it. And you know, I wanna get use out of it. I'm gonna see if I can mix it in with another foundation, see if um, it'll look better on the skin, if it'll last a little bit longer on the skin. And that's another con that I don't like about this foundation. It doesn't last very long because it is very hydrating, so it breaks down pretty easy. Um, so I'm just gonna go in with my Shop Miss A Wonder Blender, as well as the NYX Total Control Foundation in the shade True Beige. I'm gonna mix them to see if I can get my correct shade. I'm just gonna go ahead and dot my face with the NYX foundation. Yes. Cause I'm too lazy to mix it on the back of my hand. And I'm just gonna go in and blend it in with the butt of the blender because I want it to mix around better. So it's looking like my shade, but also this foundation oxidizes. Uh, so, you know, it could turn orange in a minute, but we're gonna go in with some light concealer and we're gonna conceal everything. Oh, the oxidation is starting. She's she's coming in early, y'all see that? Ooh, so I'm gonna take more of that NYX foundation and I'm just gonna put it on my cheeks um, just so it looks a little bit lighter. Uh, the forehead, mm, doesn't matter. I just care about this like cheek area hopefully that's good so i'm gonna take this small little sample of the it cosmetics bye bye under eye this is in the shade neutral medium and this stuff has lasted me so long because a little bit goes a very long way um, i'm just gonna go ahead put this on all the high points of my face and then i'll blend it out with the blender this concealer is thick oh my goodness hmm but the coverage is amazing um, I don't know why I don't pick this up. I think it's just because it's in a squeezy tube, honestly. And I really don't have time for that. Because when I do my makeup off camera, I just apply and I go. And I just feel like just having to squeeze this out, having to take out a brush or put it on my finger and then apply it on my face, I feel like that's too much time. That's too much time wasted. It is a good concealer and I feel like if I did have just really bad under eyes one day, I think that this would come into great use. Also, as for the color, it's not giving me much of a highlighted look <laughs> like I normally want in a concealer. Around the apples of my cheeks, the foundation looks like absolute crap. Um. Listen, I just, mm, 
I don't know if I just need to build up this Tarte foundation or if I should just go in with another layer of NYX because this isn't cutting out and I can't make this work. I might just have to throw it away because I think I've had it like a little bit over a year and I think this foundation expires a little quicker than most because you have to open it. Yeah, this is 12 months. Um, ooh, <laughs> expired. So I'm gonna be right back with another concealer because I really want this look to look really good. So another concealer I haven't been using all that often is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I'm in the shade Medium Nude and I'm just gonna go in and apply this under the eyes. I know it's not super light, but if this is gonna be a natural makeup look today, then it's gonna be natural because I don't want to use, I really want to stay true to the title. I don't really want to use anything that I use on a daily other than the exception of my brow powder, but y'all know I only have one brow powder, so it's just how it works. I'm gonna use the clean side of the blender. Look, it's all dirty now. I'm gonna use the clean side to blend this out so it won't mix into uh, the side that I blended in foundation with or anything like that. I just want to make sure that this color stays true to uh, my skin. As for powder, I don't really reach for my Laura Mercier powder and I feel like I mentioned this in the products that I don't care about video. I just really don't reach for it. It's the only powder I don't reach for so I'm just going to use it for today. Uh, there is like no real particular reason why I don't. I mean it's a great powder but I don't know. I just... Uh, I'm just stuck with using my Shop Miss A or even my Kat Von D Locket powder. I think that those are amazing, but for just some reason, I don't pick this up. Now this foundation is going to settle into every single crack and crevice of your face after a certain amount of time, so I'm just going to go ahead and set my smile line. And then since my chin is always the first to go, we're going to set her in place. So I'm going to go in with a brow pencil. This is the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Ebony. A lot of you guys know I don't really like Brow Wiz, but I've been trying to use it up because it's just collecting dust in my collection at this point. Um, so I'm just going to fill in my hairs and see if we can get a natural look out of it. My brows never look natural, damn it. I always say that. I always say, oh... Today's brows are going to be very natural, a natural fill in. And then here I am with these dark ass brows, like hello. I did not mean for it to happen, it just does. The brows are almost done. I'm going to go in with my brow powder. This used to be a duo. Uh, this is by Sigma and I'm just going to go ahead and apply this into my eyebrows because I like the look of fake hairs into my eyebrows. Plus, I want my brows to last a sufficient amount of time today because I might go to an amusement park today. I don't know. My mom said something and I was like, okay. So, this makeup has to be long wearing whether I like it or not. <laughs> and I don't even like them. Oh, geez. Okay, well, you know, I'm probably gonna like them after I do my eyes because I look like a naked mole rat. Uh, <laughs> so for palettes, I have two different palettes. Um, I have one where it's full of my single eyeshadows from Morphe. Mm -hmm. Single eyeshadows from Morphe. And then I also have my Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette. This is probably expired, but it's, you know, I still want to use it because I love Kathleen Lights. And so I might just go in with this one in particular. There's no shade names to these. So I'm just going to point and show you guys what I'm using. I'm going to go in to the shade up here. I'm pretty sure this is Cream Puff. Because I mentioned before, the single eyeshadows that I picked up from Morphe and Kathleen's palette, they look pretty same. They, they look pretty same. They look pretty similar. Um, yeah. We got the same color scheme going on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is why I love Kathleen. She knows me. I know her. We're best friends. And this is just going to set it in place because I blended out the Too Faced concealer with the same brush that I had my It Cosmetics concealer. And that one creases like crazy. So I really want to set that in place before I go in with any other shadow. 
I'm gonna go into the only transition color and I'm going to apply this on to my eyes with my Morphe R40. This is also Kathleen Light's favorite blending brush. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this in. I have no idea what look I want to do. Like a part of me wants to match my shirt because I have a little bit of pink, a little bit of green, a little bit of blue. But it's always good to start off with the transition first. Today is also Father's Day. It's a Sunday. And I just wanted to let you guys know that by the time you see this video, because I'm going to upload it on Monday the following day, um, you guys have six more days to enter my giveaway. Um, I've been pretty vocal about it on my social medias. And so I don't want to hear anybody say, well, I didn't hear about your giveaway. I've been talking about it every single day since I reached 25,000 subscribers, which I have to say a huge thank you to because that's been my goal for the longest time ever since I reached 10,000 subscribers. I said, I'm going to have a really big giveaway, possibly an international giveaway at 25,000. And so here I am. And I really didn't know what to do. I hit that number and I was like, oh my god. Oh. And that, that was basically it. I was, I was like, oh, okay. I did, like, y'all did that. But at the same time, I worked my ass off. So, hello. I don't know. I'm super stoked about it. And it's just kind of crazy. Because I've made over 300 videos. Um, and y'all have been there for me when I was in high school, when I graduated high school, during my first year of college, and it's crazy. Y'all have really been here to witness it all, <laughs> to witness everything, and it's just been so crazy. I was watching a lot of my old videos. I just remember exactly like when I was like super depressed, when I was full of anxiety, and I could just tell when I needed YouTube as my outlet. And I'm so happy you guys like 25,000 has been my goal and I just I'm oh no man it's just like what's next I don't know what my next goal is maybe 50,000 <laughs> I don't know I don't know if I'll reach that number but thank you guys so much for bringing me to my goal giveaways for you guys and so take advantage of it while it's still happening again there's only six days left and good luck to any everybody who's entering. I'm gonna darken this up with this gray color right here. And I'm just going to blend this out very slowly because this is a very intense shade. I'm thinking maybe I wanna do a cut crease. I mean, it's, I'm already going. I'm gonna go over my natural crease just because I have really small eyelids. So just faking the appearance that you have a bigger eyelid will really benefit you in this. In the inner half of this cut crease, I'm going to apply this really vibrant green. I'm just going to pat it on. And I also am using this to set the concealer, which is why it's making it look a lot more vibrant. And then I don't know if you guys can see in this palette, but this shade right here, it is a shimmery moss green. And I'm gonna apply that to the other portion of the concealer. And I'm just going to make it fade into that lime green that we have on our eyes. We have reached the hardest part in the tutorial where I'm going to blend black eyeshadow onto my eyes. Oh. I'm gonna take this shade down here. There is a black in the Kathleen palette, but that one, Mm, I don't know who pressed that one in, but oh, that one's not good. So <laughs> I'm going to go in with that black eyeshadow and put it right at the outer corner. Remember when I said natural brow? I kind of insinuated I wanted a natural look, but <laughs> jeez. I'm going to add my eyeliner now. We got to stop. This is, we're stopping. We are going to stop what we're doing to add our eyeliner. So, 
I'm going to be using a discontinued eyeliner, but it's new out of the package, I promise. This is the NYC liquid eyeliner. I forgot which, oh, I used it in my full face of items under $5 video. Um, and I'm gonna use it for the second time. And I wanna see if I could create a really nice wing because I'm convinced that the Shop Miss A one is like the exact same, but just has a thinner brush. So this eyeliner does not give me a very nice point. I just have to go in with concealer to sharpen it up, but I mean, I don't mind that because I do that anyway because I take off the extra eyeshadow. The eyeshadows were really creamy to work with, especially the shimmers. Those were a dream to work with. Um, but as for the mattes, especially that black, it didn't really perform as well as I would have wanted it to, but it's fine. I covered it with my eyeliner anyway. For my lower lash line, I want it to look like a really nice, rich chocolate brown. So I'm going to take the shade called Tipsy by Morphe, this one, and I'm going to go ahead and apply that. To further blend this out, I'm going to go back into the Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette. I'm going to mix these two transition shades, and I'm just going to go ahead and blend that lower lash line out. I'm going to wait for my mascara to dry before I go in with fake lashes, so I'm going to go into the face, and I haven't used the Makeup Revolution Golden Sugar 2 Rose Gold palette in a hot minute, and I don't know why. This is like a really nice, well-rounded palette. As most of you guys know, this used to be my baby, um, but I've just been testing different highlights, different bronzers, and this one kind of got lost in the sauce. So I'm going to go in with the two bronzer shades in the palette, and I'm going to go in and bronze the cheeks. And also, I might go in with a blush color by MAC to further bronze my face because this one's way too dark. Um, well, we'll see how this one looks. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and take this shade called Format by MAC. It is their blush. I'm going to go ahead and take that. It does, it does look like a blush, but I mean... It's fine. It's not like so pink, but it'll do. I'm gonna take this blush by Tarte. This is the shade Ecstatic. Mm, my cheeks are looking so rosy. So I have been holding this highlight by Jeffree Star. And on my 19th birthday, I got this as a gift. And I don't use it as much as I thought I would because it's like an icy pink highlight. Not my favorite, but I'm gonna just go ahead and use this on, I guess, my nose and, because it looks weird on the cheeks. I'm gonna use it on the nose. It's nice, it's nice, but it's definitely mm, not my shade, not my type of highlight. I'm gonna go ahead and take this highlight shade, pop it on the cheeks. Ooh, ooh. Yes. I always forget how good this highlight is. And then when I use it, it's like, I remember again. My memory has been fully restored. Almost throughout my entire high school career, <laughs> I was using two lip liners. It was the BH Cosmetics Waterproof Lip Liner in the shade Nude, which is what I always use to this day. Um, but I also used to use the Jordana Easy Liner for lips, and this is in the shade Rock and Rose. It's a retractable lip liner, and I used to love this so much, but now I don't really think about it because my BH Cosmetics one is literally the best. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with this pencil. And I also used to use this lipstick by Urban Decay. This is in the shade Naked 2. Ooh, I haven't used this one in so long. It's definitely like a mauve nude, which is very interesting because I thought that this shade was a little bit different. It feels nice and it looks good. Now we're going to go in with lip gloss. I haven't used this one in a very long time. This is the Shop Missé Diamond Lip Gloss. I have the shade Glitz. It's like a light golden shade. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this. There's no really rhyme or reason why I haven't been using it. It's more so the fact that I like my moisturizing lipsticks, kind of like the Urban Decay one, and it gives you a natural shine. Um, I haven't applied lip gloss in a minute, so 
That's a real reason. I mean, when you look at it, you're kind of like, oh, it's really glittery, but it gives you a pearlescent sheen to the lips, which makes your lips just look really nice and juicy and extra plump. It fills in those lines, so they look fake. <laughs> I ended up applying my Luella Lashes by Shop Miss A. I just wanted to do more of a natural eyelash because it just looked cute. I just, I felt like dramatic lashes with this dramatic eye was just a little too much. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face. I'm gonna go in with my Mario Badescu facial spray and I haven't used this in quite some time simply because I just got my Morphe one, I just opened a MAC Fix Plus and so this one kind of got lost in my collection but let's bring it back. wraps up this video. I hope you guys all really enjoy. This look is... Does it really match my shirt? I don't know. Who knows at this point? I don't... <laughs> Eh. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching nonetheless and I hope you guys enter the giveaway. My goal is to have 50 people entering my giveaway. We haven't reached that threshold yet. So thank you guys so much. Uh, good luck for you guys who are entering the giveaway and as always I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Peace out, Girl Scouts.